the roof of that. They're playing so well. Yeah, they do. God damn it. Lucky time. I wish I was there myself. Yeah, you could go there. Really? Yeah, why not? How? All you need is a UK sports person visa. Really? Yeah. How should I apply? What are the requirements? If you're a professional football player or a sports person, I have great news for you. You can work in the UK as a professional player if you have a job offer from the UK. Hi, Max is here with another visa video. Subscribe to our channel and keep us independent. The sports person visa is under the UK work visa category and I plan to tell you all about it. So sit tight. What can you do under the sports person visa? The sports person visa allows you to work in a second job, study, work temporarily as a sports broadcaster, travel outside of the UK and return, do voluntary work and play for your national team in the UK. Let's get right into it. First, the eligibility conditions. There are various conditions. Number one, nationality. You must be a non-EU and Swiss national. Number two, job offer. You must have a job offer from a British employer that has a sponsor license. Number three, you must have a certificate of a sponsorship. It contains your information about the job you have been offered in the UK. Know this, it's an electronic form. You will get the reference number of this certificate from your employer. Put the number in your application, but be careful. You can use this number only once. Number four, enough funds. The British officials require you to have 1,217 pounds in your bank account. The money must be in the account for at least 28 consecutive days. You don't need to prove financial independence if you've been in the UK under a valid visa for at least one year or you're a lucky lad and your employer will cover all your expenses during the first month of your stay. If you bring your family members, you need to have more money. 285 pounds for your spouse, 315 pounds for one child, and 200 pounds for each additional child. Number five, professional skills. You should be a qualified coach or an elite sports person and be at the top of your field internationally. Number six, endorsements. The governing body of your sports should endorse you. Number seven, language proficiency. Your English level must be A1 for both speaking and listening. Either take a language test like IELTS or have an academic certificate in English approved by the UK NARIC. There are some exceptions. You know, those exceptions are in a PDF file in the description. Download and read. Now, what are the requirements of a sports person visa? First one, certificate of a sponsorship reference number. Get this number from your employer. English knowledge proof. Talked about this one. Proof to have enough funds. Again, I talked about this one. <laughs> your passport. It must be valid at the time of the application and have at least one blank page. Next one, tuberculosis test. If you're from one of the British government's listed countries, you'll need a tuberculosis test result to enter the UK. Go to our PDF, you can see the list of those countries there. Next, a letter of endorsement. Next one is healthcare surcharge. Remember this, the officials might ask you for more information. It's up to them. Let's look at the application process. Step one, check if you're eligible. Step two, complete an application form. The application process is online and from outside of the UK. You need to visit the UK visa and immigration website. Link in the description. Remember this. 
Remember, you need a verified email address to register on the website. Complete the forms with accurate information. The website wants you to choose a place to submit the requirements. It depends on the country you live in. Make sure you can go to the embassy or visa center. Step three, gather the requirements. It was pretty obvious, so I'm not gonna talk more about it. Step four, set a visa appointment. Contact the visa center or the British embassy you choose to submit your requirements to. Schedule the date. Go to the center or embassy on time and take your supporting documents. You also need to submit your fingerprints and a digital photograph to receive the biometric residence permit at the embassy. When you get to the UK, you will get the permits. Step five, processing. When you finish all the procedures, wait until the officials work on your visa. The processing time is different and depends on the case and your country. So you never know. When the officials decide on your application, they will email you and inform you of the decision. The email tells you what to do next. When you arrive in the UK, you should get your residence permit in 10 days, not more than that. Now, I have a question. How long is the sports person visa valid for? Any idea? Initially, the validity of a sports person visa is three years. Paula, you have the permission to extend it for another three years as well. So don't worry. However, you may not extend the visa for longer than six years. Then, if you want to stay more, you have to apply for the indefinite leave to remain. Now, an important question. Can you bring your relatives to the UK? Yes. The sports person visa permits you to bring your spouse or lawful partner and under 18 children to the UK. They have to apply separately and you must have enough funds to cover their expenses. Now, the expensive part, sports person visa fees. The fee or cost for a sports person visa is 610 pounds if you apply on your own. You have to pay 704 pounds to extend this visa. The fee for each family member is also 610 pounds and the cost to extend it is 704 pounds. That's it. Now you can go and apply for this wonderful visa after you subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching.